I mean, I know I said no nut, but I'm kind of excited that they messed up because these nuts are delicious. John. Come on. John. It's been two months, man. You gotta stop obsessing about her. Yeah, I know how long it's been. And I just can't seem to get her out of my head. Well, have you tried meeting other girls? Yes. And I immediately compare them to Lucy. <laughs> Lucy? I own you, John. And your cock. Whoa! You saw your ex-girlfriend when you were trying to do intercourse? Yeah, and I was way too freaked out to continue. She's hijacked my brain. What she's done is move on. And you have to find a way to do the same. I just gotta... Wait. What do you mean she's moved on? <clears throat> um, don't flip out. But she's... here with her new boyfriend. Lou Diamond Phillips? LDP. Lucy's new boyfriend is Lou fucking Diamond Phillips. The Navo. Hi guys. John? So, you're John. Uh, I'd like to have a word with you. In private. Okay. Uh. I'll be in the bathroom, baby. Not throwing up my breakfast. It's time. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, the Diamond Phillips. Uh, before you go, would you would you mind signing this for me? I appreciate you sitting down with me, John. I know you're having trouble getting over Lucy, and I can understand why. She's got an ass like Emilio Estevez. But that's no excuse for what's happening to you. No self-respecting man should ever be cock-blocked by a vision of his ex-girlfriend. How could you know about that? I'm Lou Diamond Phillips. And believe it or not, I want to help you. Help me? Why? You and I have ridden the same mare, John. That makes us part of the same tribe. The tribe that unites us for eternity. Are you prepared to spend eternity together? Uh... Look, I'm sorry about all the texts and voice messages. I didn't know she was dating somebody else. You will be silent. Too many good men have died so I could help you today, John. You will graciously accept my aid in their honor. Now, my solution for you is simple. The next time you're alone with a woman and Lucy or any other hallucinogenic image precipitated by Lucy pops into your head, I want you to think of me. I want you to see me in your mind's eye, making raw, passionate, unbridled, sweat-soaked, farm animal donkey love to Lucy's undulating womanhood. I want you to picture her naked porcelain body, dripping with Comanche blood and war pain draped across the flank of a dead polar bear. I want you to see the ecstasy on her face and know that I am the sole source and benefactor of that ecstasy and that image, that knowing, 
will set you free. What? How is that supposed to help me? You see, John, by caging Lucy in the confines of my sexual dungeon, I release her from the prison of your mind. It is impossible for her to be in your head while she's in my dungeon. You're welcome. Look, I know what I'm talking about, John. Have you ever stopped to wonder why women are so enamored with me? Or why I can communicate with animals, flowers, waterfalls, all of Mother Nature, really? I'll tell you a little secret, John. I possess these gifts because I enter the spirit world. The spirit world? Oh, yes. And once I'm in the spirit world, I fuck everything. Most people don't know you can fuck anything you want in the spirit world, but you can. I just had a three-way with Pocahontas and Sacagawea, and it was nasty. Maybe I'll take you with me someday, and we can fuck things together. Now, if for whatever reason you find yourself in a sexual situation and my previous solution doesn't work, I want you to repeat the following mantra. We did all live, we had our sail. Say it. We did last what we see. What does it mean, Lou Diamond Phillips? It is an ancient Cheyenne proverb that literally means, don't be a pussy. I have something for you. Uh, let this be a reminder of all that you have learned today. I can't accept this. I can tell from the color of your soul you already have. Thank you. You don't think the sun for shining, John. It just does. Mm -hmm. I have to go. Remember, Javato, when you look back across the beach of life and see only one set of footprints, that was when I carried you. I'm going to go fuck your ex-girlfriend in the bathroom now. No problem. So, what'd he say? It's not so much what he said. Well, how do you feel? How do I feel? Better.
but that's no excuse for what's happening to you. Messing with your head before sex, you and I both know Jesus doesn't block cocks. He guides them. Thank you.